Mark Myers. We got to talk about the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, fresh off a last second victory in the preseason against the Detroit Lions in Detroit. Of impressive victory for the Detroit Lions. An impressive start to young Desmond Ritter's career at the quarterback position. Uh, obviously, there's a lot to unpack here with how Ritter did against the Lions. And we'll get into that in a second. But first, Falcons fans, look, you got to be excited from what you saw from Ritter uh, against the Detroit Lions. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Did he do enough to potentially make this uh, quarterback uh, situation here in, with the Atlanta Falcons a real competition? Uh, does this change how you feel about Ritter versus Mariota? Let us know in the comment section below. But, Myers, going back into Ritter, I got to say, I was really impressed with him in his performance uh, against the Detroit Lions defense. I thought he made a lot of quick, decisive reads. I thought he was very intentional with how he managed the offense and obviously pulling out a victory at the end that showed a lot of uh, moxie there from his side. Uh, what do you think of Ritter's performance? I thought he looked great. Um, I thought he looked very dynamic. I thought he used his legs very well. Um, I think that, you know, for a first-time rookie coming out into the game, he uh, he showed a lot of leadership. I think all the guys out there, they seem to want to play hard for Ritter. And, you know, coming out of Cincinnati, uh, they, they talked to his coach about Ritter and Alec Pierce no longer being on the team. And he talked about their leadership and how much they brought to that locker room and what they're going to miss. And I think this is something that Ritter is going to bring with him to Atlanta. He's going to boost those guys up around him, make them want to go out and play extra hard for him. Because sometimes in preseason, guys don't want to, you know, they just want to get through it and get on to the next game. And just they're waiting for the regular season, the preseason. No one wants to be there. No one wants to play there. But a guy like Ritter, he every snap counts to him, and you could tell he was trying his hardest out there, especially on that game-winning drive. You know, he he got out there, and you know it meant a lot to him to drive the Falcons on the field and win his first preseason game. It was a big deal, and it showed you know a lot of heart, a lot of leadership, all of the traits that you want in a quarterback. But he played very well too. Uh, he was very decisive, got through his reads well, and I think you talk about he he could, took care of the ball well. He got rid of it when he needed to. So I was pretty impressed with his first performance. You know, I I was I'm I think that maybe he has notched himself a little bit closer to Mariota. And if I was Mariota, I'd be a little bit nervous. You know, he's coming up on my heels. You know, you know, Ritter seems like a, like a dude. Well, I think the thing with Ritter that really jumped out at me is coming from Cincinnati, you didn't know if the NFL game was going to be maybe a little big for him, right? Because obviously playing Cincinnati, it's it's a completely different environment, obviously, than playing an NFL game. Just completely different everything about it. Just the stadium size, the fans, you know, who's on your team, who you're playing against, the opposing coaches. It's just completely different dynamic. But the game wasn't big enough for him. He managed the game very, very well. He had multiple scoring drives. He didn't have any interceptions. Uh, I think even though we only completed 10 out of 22 passes, there were a few drops, a few times his receivers didn't help him out. There were a few throws that got away from him a little bit, but nothing too concerning. And one of the things that really jumped about uh, uh, jumped out about me is that one of the knocks against Ritter coming out of college was that his windup and his release was too slow. You know, it was going to be a problem for him in the NFL. I thought he had a very quick release, a very sharp release. The ball seemed to get out of his hands very, very quickly. And that was very impressive to me. But I really love what he did at the end of the game because sometimes it's about just finding a way to win and giving your team a chance. You know, we watched the Steelers game against the Kenny Pickett performance. And I remember Late in that game, Kenny Pickett, similar situation that Ritter faced, fourth down, trying to win the game. He took, he was under pressure and he ended up taking a sack, didn't even give his guy a chance. Ritter, on the other hand, under pressure, rolls out to fourth down, gets rid of the ball, gives his guy a chance. Guy obviously makes a catch and the Falcons win the game. And I love that. I mean, Ritter just kind of has this feeling that he's a gamer, just a competitive guy. You brought up his leadership traits. I think that's going to be huge for Ritter. So if I'm a Falcons fan, I'm pretty excited what I'm seeing out of this guy. Yeah, Nick. And so we have his stats brought up here. You brought him up a little bit. But he was 10 of 22, not the best, but it's preseason first game. You know, don't read too much into that. For 103 yards, which not a bad chunk of yards. He was obviously slinging them down the field there. Um, he had six carries for 59 yards. So, you know, that, that was good mobility, good, uh, you know, grabbing first downs, like almost six yards a carry, or 10 yards a carry, rather, excuse me, yeah. uh, for a quarterback. To be able to grab a first down with your legs as a quarterback in this NFL is a very key thing for me because, like you said, if you get a guy out on a bootleg or a rollout or a play action of some sort uh, on like a third down play and the pass isn't there, if they can use their legs to uh, get that first down, that makes them extra dangerous. And one other thing is 
He took care of the ball very well. Not a lot of turnovers. Two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Uh, I th- I really like that. I think that's a, a key thing that we need to look at. So I, I really like what Ritter brought to the table, and uh, I'm excited to see him in Game 2 and see how he progresses. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord's, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI. 